What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Another video. I promise y'all y'all gonna see me again today. Uh, so uh, I'm kind of working on some stuff, deciding on what is going to be the best approach to do this. In case you're wondering, yes, I'm here at the Petro Truck Stop in Glendale, Kentucky. Always a fun place. I've uh, been stopping in here for a number of years. And uh, every time I'm in here, the same cashier. He's always here. I'm like, dude, do you ever just get a vacation or take some time off? He goes, I was off all last week. I said, how long was it before you are off of that? He goes, a year. I said, what about the days off? He goes, what's that? I work seven days a week. Last 25 years, I've been stopping in here. He's been here. I'm like, hey, you're tired. <laughs> okay, so what we got going on here is I've been looking at these body parts. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this panel right here. Okay, this panel right here is going to serve as an inside brace to here. And that's really what I say. Don't throw your old body parts away because you can still use them. Um, that didn't help. You are seriously not liking what is going on. Why do you keep doing that stuff? I'm giving you new life. An update. You're being an ass. Yes, I am talking to my caboose. In the previous video, we did kind of a mock-up, just I kind of taped this front end on, and saved some body parts in it. Unfortunately, the very first video I did on this, my phone went retarded, and I lost it. So, we're going to have to kind of start over. But, um, I am going to stay with these trucks right here. I kind of like these uh, arch bar trucks. Um, not arch bar. Yeah, okay, those are arch bars. No, I, I whatever. But I'm staying with that style of truck because I kind of like it. I like the other ones too, but I prefer the arch bar, so that means I'm going to have to cut this coupler off and mount it somehow to this truck. Um, which, again, they give you that tab, or that slot, and a hole on the bottom for the pin, but don't have to go in there. You're going to fix that problem, too. And while we're talking about this piece, I'm going to use some of this metal plating. I'm going to use four small sections. We're going to cut it and, uh, in half and then quarter it. And those four plates will act as a brace, an extra brace for down here amongst the tank weld from JB Weld that I used on another one, which is nothing more than a putty. Cut it, roll it together, push it on. When it's dry and solid, it's hard as steel. So, and then of course the drops of glue are going to help too, but uh, it's just going to help me brace it. And then I got some styrene with me, so these will get covered in, and I will sand those smooth. So that's going to help out a lot doing all of this. And I'm thinking since I'm raising the, cup the cupola with this piece which I will show here in just a minute as we cut this. Taking this piece and grafting it right onto there and opening up the window height. Um, it's only going to raise it about I'm going to say a quarter to a sixteenth. Not much, but just enough, sufficiently enough that you're going to see the window's a lot better. <coughs> uh, I love kit bashing these NPC error cards. 
And I know there's going to be some Lionel guys out there going, King Julian, why? Why? Uh, we know your name. We know where to find you. Why would you do that? Because I can. And it's unique, and nobody's going to have one else on their layout. I know, that was kind of exaggerated, wasn't it? Okay, so, what I'm going to do, which, see if I can kind of get this to tilt down a little bit. Um, because I can't get the trucks off, I've got to do this in a very weird manner. But, weird is what seems to work for sometimes on this channel. So, start right here, right across the roof. Okay, so there we go. There's that. I'm gonna go right up here. Bring the line. In case you're wondering, I am cutting like right beneath the roof line because that roof line on this end and on this side line up with the window mark right at the top. So that's why I'm going that route. It's not going to tilt down anymore, but. Let's see. Maybe we can do this a little bit differently. Alright, we'll do this this way. <laughs> and as always, just to make things a little easier, because it's starting to get nighttime, it's a little darker. I don't like these lights in my truck. I'm probably going to have to wind up changing them, especially this front one. Lights just aren't bright enough. Not like where it was in old air national. each end on each side right there. Again, do not throw away any of your cutoff parts because you never know when you're going to wind up using them for another project. And trust me, I do a lot of projects. on the other side. So, again, 
save your pieces because you never know when you might need them. If you got cutoff parts, save them. Now, um, right up at the mic. Oh, the map, where'd you go? There it is. Get that thing that's flashing up. Now that we got that cleaned up, what we're going to do is this is actually going to get glued to right up here. Now I know it's sitting kind of high, but we're going to take care of that here in just one second. Because we have got to get the ends, that little lip, off there. And that will allow everything to seat the way it needs to and bring it down. And then you can finally make, you know, make your final little marks and stuff like that. So, so how do we want to do that? I guess we could cut it saw it off. See so, yeah, how that's going to work. Uh, let's see, there's a little edge right there. Right there. Go right here to the inside. And we're just going to kind of keep doing this. Now, no, it's not going to go into my steering wheel because uh, I'm actually going to be stopping before and then trim the flash off. And there we go. So that was one piece. Now we got to the other side. this all trimmed up. Now let's see what other trimming we're going to have to do to uh, get her flush, which I already see a problem. Not a big one. Not anything a little bit of a razor blade can't take care of. And Flash removal. Be careful not to cut yourself when doing this. Kind of take it in all these steps and layers if you have to. got a table to work with that's a lot easier. 
I do not have a table here on my truck, which really sucks. Right. So, as you can see right now, there we go. Uh, Alright, bring it down just a little bit more. Because that is kind of high. So. Unfortunately, sometimes when you're trimming this stuff out, it will break on you. So if it does that, just finish trimming it out slowly. And you have yourself a nice clean cut. That's a lot nicer, but that's still a little high. I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but we need to trim it down. So, how are we going to do that? Well, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, you can go with basically making your mark here and going straight across and that will trim it out for you. Or, you can put it on a sander and just light pressure and get what you want. I don't have a sander here, so I can't do it. <coughs> so, I gotta figure out another method. So this is what's gonna happen. Let's go ahead and take that out. Alright, so what I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to run a black marker from each end, okay, from here to here. And that's going to give me my line that needs to be cut. And that way I can get a even line up. So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, I'll do a follow-up video here in just a little bit. Um, but I hope you like what I'm doing right now. And I hope, you know, kind of getting a, a glimpse into why I do the things I do. Uh, it is a lot of fun to do this. Uh, kit bashing and figuring out and using your mind and your imagination, which is really why I do this. So we will get into gluing these pieces in, and getting the front piece put on. As always, 
please hit like and subscribe. That does help the channel. Please drop some comments. I'd like to hear from y'all. Um, if y'all need to direct message me, you can find me on Facebook under Norman E. Kettner. Um, I think you can direct message me through YouTube. I'm not sure. But if not, then hey, we're all good. And I hope y'all enjoy what I'm doing. And hope y'all enjoy the content. I'll see y'all in the next video. As always, please be safe this weekend. And keep the shiny side up and rubber down. See you in the next video.